Hey everybody, welcome back. We've got another Marvel Future Revolution video for you. In this one, the Scarlet Witch PvP build. So we recently did a PvE build. I think you'll find this PvP one helpful. Let us know what you think in the comments below, all that sort of thing. Uh, I want to give some giant shout outs to those who helped with this. We'll get to that. And if you're new to the channel, hammer down like buttons, all that kind of thing if you'd like. And let's get to it. Okay, so you can see the graphic here again. A giant shout out to Twisted and Server Leader. Thank you guys so much for talking about this. We've been talking about Scarlet Witch, I feel like, for months. A lot of testing involved in this. Uh, these guys have done uh, some real deep dives into Scarlet Witch. We've been talking to them about it, doing theory crafting, talking about the different skills. Even recently, just, you know, I had a chat with these guys where all of a sudden in an hour, we had a hundred different chats in there. So uh, a lot of thought went into this. We hope this is helpful for you. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and go through all the different skills. You know, some of the stuff that I definitely want to mention uh, with Scarlet Witch is that she's probably the most flexible character that uh, Netmarble has made thus far. So uh, our argu argument can be made based on different play styles different uh, gear sets that you make. You might say, well, I got this gear set. I really want to jump into it. There's nothing wrong with that. It's certainly plausible. So uh, we lean into the uh, witchcraft item here and some chaos. Uh, both are certainly uh, usable. Some people like hex. We didn't like that as much, but it's still certainly a decent option. So let's dive into these skills. All right, so as we look through these skills, you can see again, witchcraft, witchcraft, chaos, chaos and witchcraft uh is the ones i've currently got up so uh first one and actually as i go through these when you see the 5d 8d all that sort of thing it's one two three four five six seven eight and then up here a b c d so if you're wondering what that means that's what that is um all right so five 5d the first one we've got in here uh like i mentioned witchcraft it's when you dash through them and you've got some balls that come up and explode later uh not a bad option pretty good ability uh, i do want to mention the second ability we've got on here which is either 8d or 8c depending which one of these you use you might if you choose 8c well let me explain what they are first so first the the 8d here uh is one where you dash through and you get an attack buff it does do some damage as well uh it's a pretty good combo with that uh 5d it's a uh, solid you're dashing around quite a bit if you want to use 8c which is the invisible um it's it, you can start off a match that way so somebody can't get you and then maybe do a different dash ability like 5d uh, so depending where which one of these you use, you might want to switch their placements. I personally like the double dash move, get the 5D going, uh, which again, solid ability, get some damage and then do the attack buff as well. Uh, but if you like to stay invisible and give yourself a little bit more flexibility, uh, I certainly understand that. Uh, it's, a, it's a good ability. It just a lot of this stuff depends on your play style, what you prefer. Um, we like witchcraft a little bit better than chaos, but anyway... So uh, let's see, again, play style is a big, big thing here. All right, so we did 8C, 8D. Uh, next up, we've got another chaos ability here. We had this in our PVE build as well. Chaos Sphere sticks around. It's a very good ability, high damage. And uh, it does, <laughs> my son's hanging out next to me, so he's very excited as well. Uh, this is a good ability, 2D. Uh, I would, you're, you're never gonna go wrong with this. And this is gonna be uh, one of the reasons that some people like chaos. Uh, as well. All right. So next up, now you've got a couple different options here. You've got either 4B or 4C. I've got 4C up at the moment. So 4C, that runic absorption versus either the, uh, either that or gift of silence, both do about 400% damage. Uh, the 4C one, which is on the left, uh, all this stuff stays the same. You can see the guard break is just about the same. There's uh, a different of absorbs damage as uh, life uh, on the left one it's about 15 percent of that damage so really in pvp you're not necessarily going to get that a lot some people do like it though uh and again it is a uh, chaos type ability which sometimes plays in with different specs that you might choose uh but it also has the silence uh that sort of thing if you don't like that one because you're like i don't really want to steal life i don't think it's worthwhile that's fine i think that 
the uh, four C, or the four B, the gift of silence, which does. Um, and this is kind of where the debate was: is that if you want to get the silence on an enemy. Uh, again, the cooldown on this one's 22 seconds, a little bit longer than the runic runic absorption. But both of these options are viable. And then uh, the last skill is in the seven tree, which again is another witchcraft. It's up to you. You can either do 7B or 7D. Right now, we've got 7D showing. It just teleports and does damage. Pretty plain and simple. But if you want to use 7D, which is on the right, um, it's, it increases alt gauge. Now, that's not why we have this on here, okay? The reason we have this on here is because you're invincible. So uh, it's something that... Because the alt, honestly, in PvP is pretty bad. So uh, you... Depending what you want to do here, I think is really where you want to land. Uh, I mean, it can vary a little bit. Um, I, I You want to get in a witchcraft if you're going through this build. Don't like the other ones as much uh, if you look at them. But if you do want to use that invincible one uh, or then where you're building up the alt gauge, it's certainly not bad. And you know what? If you get away from somebody and then bust your alt gauge, you're not vulnerable. Because that's really the bad part about the alt gauge is you're vulnerable. Uh, you don't want to be in that. Or maybe you dodge start the alt gauge and so you're invisible or invincible for a little bit not not so bad so those are the skills uh, again a lot of witchcraft so we got witchcraft witchcraft chaos chaos witchcraft three witchcraft and two chaos we didn't have any hex in this one which is the reason why we're going to look at the rote stuff later in a little bit all right so now let's jump to specialization all right, so first one up is the Red Boot or Witchcraft Dodge. It increases movement speed uh, by, mine's only level nine. So at this point, it's only 22.5% uh, for two seconds when using a dodge skill. So basically, if I ever dodge, I can move faster. And it increases effect ends, uh, decreasing cooldown of all skills by, it's like 2.5 seconds when it's maxed out. So basically, dodge, move faster, and then decrease cooldowns of a bunch of stuff. It's a great, great ability. You get to move around the board a little bit faster. Uh, it's quite phenomenal. Again, Witchcraft Dodge. Next up is Witch's Branch. Fires magic that spreads to five enemies and deals damage equal to a certain percentage of your attack and inflicts silence for two seconds when using a Witchcraft skill, which again is a 12 second cooldown. So remember, we had three Witchcraft abilities here. So with this, it's going to be firing these off I don't want to say non-stop, but if you're smart about when you're using witchcraft, maybe do a witchcraft, another ability, a witchcraft. Basically, when you get to your second or third witchcraft ability, that uh, if it's been 12 seconds, you're firing this off quite a bit. So again, I really like this, the silence on the board. This is kind of an Omega War type situation, but could also work really well in Dimension Duel because the more you silence people, the better off it is. So you really want to think about when you're timing some of these things. You know, don't don't necessarily, you know, maybe you want to use your silence for your chaos ability first, you know, as that goes. And then you use a witch after it's been a couple seconds, then do your witchcraft or something. But th that's up to you. Uh, I, I would do burst things first and then maybe think about when you're silencing people just so you can survive a little bit. Uh, third up is this uh, more damage dealt based on the stam required. Again, we use this in PvE as well. It's a great, great uh, specialization. And then uh, last but not least is the increased damage to immobile targets or targets with status effect, which we all know Scarlet Witch has a lot of status effects that you're throwing around. So more damage, muy bueno. We didn't have any other substitutions for these. We liked these four. We thought they were phenomenal specifically with this witchcraft build, uh, liked it a lot. You can see on our screen above all the different companions. They're your typical sort of, I'll call uh, PVP type companions, Kate Bishop. Baron Mordo is not as critical as he is in PvE, but he's still a good option here with uh, increased buffs. You know, your America Chavez, Daredevil, Hulk, uh, people like Icarus still. Really anything, I mean, even uh, Lady Thor or the Mighty Thor uh, can be used in uh, like in a Mega War type situation. There's not necessarily a super obvious, but it, it's going to be player preference here a little bit. Uh, you decide what you want to use in different game modes. And then uh, we're jumping to the gear. So... Because it's witchcraft again, it's similar to what I said in the uh, PVE video that we're going to go ahead and do with the Dark Domain, Midgardia, and Rise of the East. And the Dark Domain one, I said this in the PVE uh, video, is it gives you Defense Pierce. So 
I believe that you're going to want to, if you're not going to go for the special route, Dark Domain is your best bet because of that added defense pierce. You don't necessarily need to focus it as much on different items because you could get, you know, an extra percent from this, which is phenomenal. Midgardia gives you crit damage. I'd borderline say don't do that, uh, especially in a PvP situation, but certainly up to you. And then with the specials, of course, Rise of the East uh, is a uh, the uh, uh, multiple witchcraft type items. So uh, a great, great buff there. Specials are always better than regionals. Uh, so you can use that option. Now, uh, if you're going to the chaos route, you like that a little better, you want to swap out one of those items that we've got at witchcraft for and maybe go uh, double chaos or something like that, which you've got, or you maybe like chaos a little bit better and you'd like how those hit, or you swap one of the chaos for a harder hitting chaos, something along those lines. If you want to go Eyes of Osiris, I get it. Uh, I, I tend to think that the harder hitting abilities are more of the witchcraft type. Those are your damage ones. You might not get as much out of the uh, chaos, but it is... Uh, a decent option and then if you're looking for a regional it's the sakar uh rob really likes this sakar build he does really well in dimension duel i think he's he, i mean he's been doing really well i think since he's been like one seven to two mil now uh really good results pretty happy with it beating doing some pretty massive punch-ups i've seen and i'll say this is that scarlet witch can punch up on against a spider-man like 700 plus k it is insane how much she can do on him so if you really don't like Spider-Man, you want him to go down, I would heavily consider uh, Scarlet Witch, especially in those Dimension Duels, she can nuke him. I've seen some pretty impressive punch-ups. So again, giant shout out to Twisted and Server Leader. We worked quite a bit on these builds. Uh, we think that they're pretty solid. We think you'll be pretty happy with using these. Again, it depends on play style a bit. We like the little bit more aggressive approach. There's certainly some support aspects that you could use on this where you know, you might go and just silence people in a mega war and kind of dash in, dash out. You're maybe not doing a lot of damage, but uh, we're pretty happy with this. We think you will be too. Let us know in the comments below what your thoughts are. Do you have different builds that you like a little better? Uh, give us some math behind that so we can see what you got. You know, maybe some different results that you're finding uh, in game. Or if you want to come to the Discord and chat with it there, that's in the description below. So appreciate you making it this long. Uh, again, giant shout out to Twisted and Server Leader. If you want to hammer down those like buttons, click notification bell, subscribe. Always appreciate you. And until next time, we hope you have a wonderful day.